welcome to another video. It's week two of June, June 12th through the 18th. Let's see what we need to get through this week. This week, the theme is mind your business, but don't close yourself off from feeling. That's interesting. You can load up on a dose of compassion for yourself and others. In fact, there might be somebody this week who needs your help and you can help them. So growth this week comes in the form of exercising your big heart, your big, big heart. You can stimulate your intellect by traveling or doing something new and exciting. That's a good week for that. This um, full moon in Sagittarius is all about this, this week. Um, expansion and growth. This week it's through the lens of compassion and self-love. So um, depending on your natal chart and what's true for you, um, this can be different. So just stay focused um, on what you want. Extend that compassion to yourself. Oh boy. <laughs> and this could still be following the theme from last week about love. This could be about around our definitions of love or desire. At the end of the week, we're finally out of the Mercury retrograde shadow. Wonderful. I hope that it was well for you. And the weekend is a Pisces moon. So I feel like we're diving even deeper into this June paradigm of moving from the 3D to the 5D, finding more deeper meaning in um, how we see things from our spiritual lens. And something to work on this week could be like finding balance between responsibility and harmony. So there's like discipline here in the sense of growth, um, extending love, being love. I'm seeing some similar cards from last week's video show up. So again, we have work through your fears, the new moon in Scorpio. There, this mo To ascend, right, June is about ascension. We talked about this in the last video. In order to do this, you're going to have to shed some things and become lighter, literally lighter. This is showing me good progress in that way. The energy is gaining momentum and conclusions are within reach. The full moon eclipse is here and working through your fears. The center card, the Ten of Swords, something is ready to, to end. Something is ready to end. And I don't know if you're, again, this could be different based on everybody and this won't resonate for everyone, but potentially you're seeing uh, too many choices right now or um, there, you don't know what's an illusion or what's real. So you might be just sort of um, content with what you have, but I still see this like curiosity about what's on the other side. So this is, this is the lens through which we're working with our curiosity is, am I willing to step out of my comfort zone to see something or to have a different experience? Last week we talked about um, using that like midweek energy to travel or have like some new cultural experience. This is showing up here again as well. This is about wanting to understand something again, wanting to understand how the world works. You know, next we're still in Gemini season and um, next we have Cancer and that'll dive way deeper into our feelings and our sensitivities. But what I do see here is again the theme of love showing up. It's like a message coming through of love. Either you're delivering a message of love or you're receiving a message of love. Um, but there's something here. If you're holding on to any kind of negativity, any kind of like old way of doing things, your old definitions of love are not going to work in this new paradigm. So what are the illusions here at the beginning? This Seven of Cups. Let's ask about what other illusions might be here for whoever's watching to get through. I sense that there might be some disappointment, but it's um, these are either lessons, karmic lessons, 
um, or there's the timing's not right. So like, how can you? How how can you work through your own feelings um, or expectations around love? This is the question. There's confusion here because you can see it going in many different ways. Some, are, some things coming through for me that's sort of like your hard work is leading to the manifestation of like achieving some new level in work or like gaining skill points is literally what I'm getting here. <laughs> gaining some skill points. So as you move into your new life, this, you know, last week was about a choice, right? And now we have danger in choices. Da the danger in choices, you know, this is a bit about like fantasy illusion. So this could be also just like you sitting, dreaming, making wishes on what all of your work and efforts will lead toward. Last week we talked about releasing those expectations of how it will manifest. And so I see actually in this position, in, the, in this recent past, this sort of like wishing, releasing, doing the work and still daydreaming about this other life. So something has to come to a full stop end for this new love to come in. Um, and you can't be in your the, the mindset of an old paradigm or else the, you have the wheel of fortune at the end. The clock will almost turn backwards. Rather, there is no clock. We know that there's no clock. But it's sort of saying like, stay committed to your goals. Stay committed to having this energy of um, excitement and celebration for life. And know that you may not have all the experience in what's coming next but if you do the work of working through your fears i feel like you know the page of swords he's the hero you're going to be able to manage whatever comes your way you're wielding a really big sword <laughs> um, the sword of knowledge so there's something that you know about the situation that's helping you reset the ten of swords is in the center and then we have the page of swords here is like this overcoming of that the new cycle beginning work on having gratitude Oh, Five of Cups. This is not the Five of Cups. This is the Eight of Cups. The artwork got me. It almost looked like this was the person grieving. Do you see how that almost looks like the Five of Cups of the traditional deck? That's actually the Eight of Cups, which is, I guess, just repeating or echoing this need to go inside. This need to go inside. Don't be too hard on yourself. Your definitions of love and desire may be shape-shifting. This is a shape-shifting sort of like going inside to change how you will receive this message or how you will um, work toward accepting love. It doesn't have to be a romantic love. This is just love, archetype love, type love. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, let's see just one more thing. The Wheel of Fortune. the world. Yeah. Okay. So I see a repetition of another theme of like someone coming to you for help. Either you might need some help or someone needs help. This is, there, this, there, there's an opportunity here to express love, archetype love for another human being in the form of helping them. This person could come back around and be a significant person, not who you expect, or vice versa, you might receive help from somebody that's that you would not expect. Either way, the, you know, the world is showing up here as the confirmation of a total paradigm shift. Something is completely ending. This is a total completion ending. Goodbye. Goodbye. Um, we have two pages as well, the page, oh, three pages, the page of cups, the page of pentacles, and the page of swords. Who's missing? The page of wands. So, yeah, there's no fire here, actually. Oh, the two of wands. Something definitely wants to be 
concluded. So think about what that could be in your life. I mean, now with Mercury retrograde out of the way, maybe, um, maybe there's certain actions you can take that you couldn't take before. I think you have, I think you have what it takes to be bold and, and do the thing. Just remember to do it with a large dose of compassion for you and for others. Hmm. Okay, that's this week. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one.